leather cap and his checkered tie. Let's see what he has to say. What's he got for us this time? They're probably Blu-rays. A fishing on his wrist. It's a guilty measure. A fishing on his wrist. It's a common measure. A fishing on his wrist. Shout the lights. Shoot the cameras. Bow for the world in panorama. He likes to impersonate Walcott. Hey everybody, Officionauts Chris here, and today I'm going to be doing a book review for something that isn't My Little Pony, although to be fair, it is slightly My Little Pony related. Today I'm going to be talking about My Little Pony writer M.A. Larson's novel debut, Penny Royal Academy. So if you're somehow not familiar with uh, this story or M.A. Larson in general, M.A. Larson is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best writers on My Little Pony. He's written some of my uh, all-time favorite episodes. Uh, two that come to mind would be uh, the Super Cider Squeezy 6000, as well as the highly controversial Season 3 finale Magical Mystery Cure. Heck, I've even gone as far as to say that M.A. Larson is the Paul Dini of My Little Pony Riders, and I've even met the guy uh, when I went to BabsCon and even went up to him and told him he was the best writer on the show, uh, to which he scoffed and said, no, that's Megan McCarthy. He's a funny guy, really nice guy, very talented. So when I found out that he was going to be moving over to books and write his own original story, I was completely psyched. I wanted to see what he would pull off, and he does not disappoint. Pennyroll Academy is quite possibly one of the best young adult novels I've read in a long time, and uh, really the last young adult novel that I can remember reading and really enjoying uh, was the original Harry Potter books. Even M.A. Larson himself has said that the uh, style and uh, the atmosphere and uh, the development of the characters, and hopefully the eventual franchises, because I'd love to see more of these, uh, is very much inspired by that of J.K. Rowling. And you can definitely see that when you read this book, there's a lot of J.K. Rowling influence. Uh, and there's definitely, I think there's a little Hunger Games in here too. There's definitely some uh, uh, Hunger Games influence in there as well. But overall, it's a fantastic, really original, really gripping, just really well written novel. I don't want to get too in depth about it, about why it's so great, why it's fantastic. I think it's just something you should read uh, for yourself and see if you like it. In fact, the coolest thing is that it turns out that Lionsgate, the production company behind the Hunger Games movies, has actually already opted the film rights for this book, which makes me really excited. In fact, uh, Reese Witherspoon is going to be producing and apparently will have a role in this uh, film adaptation as well. I cannot wait to see what they do with this. And uh, a part of me really hopes that M.A. Larson writes his own adaptation, much like uh, a lot of great authors. I mean, he is a writer. He writes for television and he wrote a book. I don't see why he can't write a screenplay, especially something based on his own property and his own characters. He'd know what to do with it. If you love M.A. Larson's work and, I mean, come on, if you watch My Little Pony, isn't that part of the deal? You have to love M.A. Larson, or at least I think so. I don't really know anyone that doesn't like M.A. Larson's stuff. He's just a fantastic writer, very talented. But uh, rest assured, uh, if you've heard about this and haven't checked it out, uh, go to your local library and uh, see if they have it, check it out. Uh, and if they don't have it, well, honestly, I'd say go out and buy it at Barnes & Noble or any bookstore. It's a fantastic read that I'm sure you'll be invested in, or at least I hope you'll be invested in it, because I think it's a very gripping, very, very good novel. And like I said, it's been a long time since an adult novel really got me this invested and really interested in these characters, so kudos to you, M.A. Larson. You did a fantastic job for your first book, no less. This is fantastic. So I can't wait to see more in this series. I, well, at least I hope it becomes a series, because if these sell well, maybe the publishing companies will consider making this a series, and I honestly think this will really work. Maybe this will be the next Harry Potter, I'm not sure. I'd like to see this become a very profitable and uh, very popular uh, book series, much like The Hunger Games or uh, Harry Potter or any other adult novel that, you know, spawn off uh, sequels and become big movies in the theater. So, you know, I definitely recommend all My Little Pony fans who love M.A. Larson's work. Basically, anyone who's a big fan of fantasy novels, this is a book you should support. Uh, it's just fantastic. I love it so much, and I honestly might read it again. I think it's that great, yeah, at least to pass the time before the film comes out, or hopefully a sequel to this book. That's really all I have to say about M.A. Larson's book debut, Penny Royal Academy. Highly recommended for all readers, young and old. Fantastic novel. I think everyone will love it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and please have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Congratulations! You just finished my video. Pat yourself on the back. After you're done doing that, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to support my future videos, you can donate to my Patreon page. You can donate as little as a dollar and cancel any time. Everyone who donates gets their names at the end of the credits of every video, just like these awesome patrons. If you'd like updates on future projects, you can like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. You're still watching? Well, here's a prize. You can watch some of my previous videos by clicking the annotations here.